Hello, I'm Stephen Cass, Special Projects Editor at Technology Review. Every year, the editors here choose 10 emerging technologies that we believe are the most critical technological developments in the year, a list known as the TR10. Based on our continual coverage of the technological waterfront, the TR10 reflects what we believe are the technologies most likely to transform the world. This year's TR10 technologies are to be found in critical fields such as energy, biotechnology, the web, and computing. The first TR10 I'd like to tell you about concerns the barrage of energy and transportation. Electric and hybrid vehicles will never mount to more than a fraction of the cars on the road unless lighter and cheaper batteries can be produced, which is why the solid state batteries being developed by Anne-Marie Sastry at SACKEY3 are so important. Similarly, the smart grid will never deliver on its promise of making the electrical supply more reliable and better integrating renewable sources of energy unless it has the ability to redirect electrical power quickly and effectively. Alex Huang of the NSF Freedom Systems Research Center is using advanced power electronics to create a transformer that can reroute electricity as easily as the internet routes information. In biotechnology, the TR10s are part of an ongoing revolution driven by the cheap sequencing machines that have come on the scene in the last few years. Elaine Bardas of Washington University in St. Louis is investigating how cells and tumors differ from a patient's normal cells with the goal of providing better treatments. Steve Quake at Stanford is making sure that when we sequence an individual's DNA, we are getting the whole picture by properly separating and distinguishing between the two chromosomes we all inherit from our parents. And in a truly astonishing feat of genetic engineering, the J. Craig Venter Institute's Daniel Gibson is designing entire genomes on a computer and then turning them to real DNA that can be inserted into living microbes. Cloud computing is another revolution getting a boost from the two or ten. IBM's Craig Gentry system for making data in the cloud a lot more secure could greatly expand who uses cloud computing and what they use it for, creating new businesses and new applications. Meanwhile, Steve Perlman of OnLive has figured out how to use cloud computing to turn a regular smartphone into a $2,000 games console. The proliferation of general purpose computers in all kinds of devices is also driving a need for new interfaces beyond the mouse and keyboard, which is why we select the gestural interface technology being developed by Prime Sense's Alexander Spunt. Demonstrated to great effect with the Xbox Connect system, the technology could ultimately help us control interactive flight displays at an airport or internet connected televisions. By looking at the links that hundreds of millions of Facebook users like and share, Brett Taylor of Facebook has found a way to index what's on the internet that could rival Google's PageRank system, letting users find results relevant to them a lot faster. Having to turn something on and off to reboot it is annoying enough when it comes to a smartphone or a set-top box, but it's downright worrying when it comes to a car or airplane. June Adronic of Australia's NICTA Research Centre has created the core of an embedded operating system that she can prove will never ever crash. The 2011 2 or 10 paints a picture of what we believe are the most exciting developments in technology. What do you think of our choices? We'd love to hear your views either by commenting on the story themselves or by emailing me at stephen.cass at technologyreview.com.